First, a quick recap. Pronouns are words that replace nouns. A noun is a person, place, thing, or an idea. An antecedent is a word being replaced by a pronoun. The word antecedent is not really a term of what something is, but how it's being used. So a word can be a noun and an antecedent at the same time, like you can be both you and a student at the same time. Now, we are going to be getting into types of pronouns. Remember, they are all pronouns, but look a little different. Because of this, we want to make sure we recognize them all so we can use them correctly, guaranteeing what we write is clear. Up first is personal pronouns. These are the ones that are, we most use. They describe who's talking, being talked to, or talked about. You should be seeing a chart of them on the screen right now. These can be used in two ways. The first is as a subject in a sentence. The second is an object. So depending on whether the word you're replacing is before or after the verb decides which column you pull from. An example of this would be, the old woman goes to the club. She is an amazing dancer. Because the old woman is the subject, we pull from the subject side of the chart and use the pronoun she. If we change the sentence to, the old woman went to her husband with her husband because she loves dancing with him. The husband is after the verb and therefore gets replaced with him. Try one yourselves. The next step is reflexive pronouns. These are pronouns that are after the verb but refer to the subject. You can recognize these by the fact they end in self or selves. For example, you might have a sentence like, the child made breakfast all by himself. Himself is talking about the child, but it's after the verb. Let's go ahead and try one. Lastly, you have intensive. This is the same form as reflexive, but it comes right after the noun it is replacing to intensify it. It's like the hype man of grammar. Example, Kanye himself is coming to our school. All right, try one yourself. Here's a brief quiz just to try and recap and see if we got it. From here, you're good to go.